guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video guys i'm going to share with you guys some tips on how you can make your products work for you if you are someone that uses a lot of lightning soap a lot of lightning shower gels a lot of lightning facial creams girl or boy you have to cut down on all those things if not if you get to a time where those things will not work for you again you have to like you know take a little bit of time off those lightning ingredients i'm going to show you guys this cute soap i love dove products so much um this is the dove cream oil soap this is the beauty cream bar with moroccan argan oil i love this dove soap so much so if you are someone that uses um let's say you are using a kojic um a kojic acid soap and you know a kojic acid soap is um is a soap that contains kojic acid of course and um kojic acid is like a lightning soap it will tend to like lighten your pigmentation issues and all those other things okay so if you are using something like a kojic acid soap you need to like take breaks from using that soap so this soap for example you don't have to use this dove soap you can use any um soap that you have but i love those soap because most of their bath soaps are moisturizing they are all moisturizers that is why i love dove okay so um you can get a dove soap you don't have to use this one get like a dove bath soap and let's say on monday you use your kojic acid um soap on your face on tuesday you don't use the soap use something plain something that does not contain any lightning ingredient at all use maybe a, a dove soap or a premier soap um use any kind of soap that is just like a moisturizing soap there are different options especially for those of us in nigeria you can use joy soap joy soap is also a plain soap you can use eva soap eva soap is a plain soap just give your skin breaks whenever you are using those lightning soaps and lightning shower gels okay so let's say on monday you use your kojic acid soap on Tuesday, use something plain like this. This is a moisturizer. It's going to help to moisturize your skin. On Wednesday, you can use your kojic acid soap. On Thursday, you use this again. On Friday, you use your kojic acid soap. On Saturday, you use this again. Okay, or you can even leave two breaks in between. On Monday, you can use your lightning face soap. On Tuesday and Wednesday, you use something plain. On Thursday, you use your lightning soap. On Friday and Saturday, you use something plain. That way, your skin can recover. When you're using a lot of lightning soaps, Monday to Saturday, there is no break. Your skin, like, your, your skin will just be tired. Like, honestly speaking, it is not going to, like, it's going to work for, like, the first two weeks. But subsequent times, it's, it will stop working because your skin is tired, your skin is exhausted. And you can start breaking out because most of all those lightning soaps, they are like drying they are really really drying on the skin so you have to like use things in between so that your skin can recover okay so you can use dove soap you can use um pierce you can use any kind of soap that you have just make sure you take breaks whenever you are using lightning soaps on your face and if you are someone that uses lightning um shower gel and later you discover that your shower gel is not working for you that is because your skin is used your skin is now used to the ingredients, so it's not working anymore. You have to get something in between that is going to help your skin in the long run. Okay, and um, I've showed you guys this my Dove Deeply Nourishing Body Wash. I showed you guys in one of my videos. Um, this is what I use. Okay, you can get a Dove body wash. You can get any kind of body wash. To be honest, you don't have to use Dove. But me, I love Dove for because, like I said, they are moisturizing. This Dove um charger is a moisturizer. That is why I love it. So let's say you are using your lightning shower gel on Monday. On Tuesday, use your um Dove um Dove body wash on Tuesday to give your skin a break. On Wednesday, you can use your lightning shower gel. On Thursday, use this. On Friday, you know, use... Like, just give your skin breaks. Like, give your skin breaks in between. Don't just go one full week, two full weeks, and you're using lightning things. Because a lot of these lightning things contain drying chemicals. Like, they contain a lot of chemicals that are drying. That won't moisturize your skin. And your skin is just going to be dry, dry, dry. Okay? So, you need to moisturize your skin. Give your skin some breaks that way you will see better results so let's say you are using a lightning face cream for example your lightning face cream or uh, maybe you are using it to target hyperpigmentation like i said again i'm not telling anybody to bleach i'm just using like an example let's say you are using a lightning face cream for example and then you discover that your lightning face cream is not working for you it might be that your skin is now so used to the lightning 
um cream that it is not working for you again so one thing i suggest you do is like take breaks in between if you use your lightning face cream today tomorrow don't use your lightning face cream you can use something else so that is why i love goji berry this is what i use i don't use any lightning soap or any lightning face cream anymore like since i broke out on my face i'm really really careful because i don't want to ever ever go back to um my breakout stage so i'm just like ignoring i'm just trying to like stay away from anything that would cost me breakouts again i'm just like okay i'm happy with what i have right now so um let's say you are using a lightning face cream get something that is moisturizing get a moisturizing face cream goji berry is a moisturizing face cream you can also get nivea perfect and um, perfect and radiant um face cream that face cream is also good it is going to help to moisturize your skin okay i'm going to show you guys an example i don't want to talk all throughout this video i have here with me bismi this is bismi seven days whitening cream okay this was what i was using earlier um last year i think late last year i was using this thing i made a review about it on my channel um look at it i've not even finished using it and i'm going to show you guys why i said there are some creams that are they are lightening creams but they are not moisturizing creams okay so i'm going to use bismuth as an example and you all know that i love bismuth products so much bismuth products are really really nice and the reason why some people are reacting to bismuth is that bismuth products are like treatment products okay they are treatment that's why it is called seven days lightening cream or five days shelly it is not something that you should use for more than five days or for more than seven days some people tend to use it for longer than um the stipulated time and that is why it tends to like maybe break out your skin or something if it says um seven days then use it for seven days and drop it that is like it's like a prescription or let me not say prescription it is like a medication is a treatment you use it for the stipulated time bismuth seven days lightning cream use it for seven days and keep it bismuth five days shell use it for five days and keep it do not use it for longer than the stipulated time okay so now i have applied the bismuth on my palm it is not moisturizing at all that is the point i'm trying to drive that most of all these white lightning creams are not moisturizing creams you have to get a moisturizer okay so um let's say goji berry i love goji berry because it is moisturizing okay now i put goji berry on my palm you can see the way it's just it's just so moisturizing like it has vanished like it is so moisturizing it is more moisturizing than the base made and most of all those lightning things like i said they are treatments and they are drying they do not have moisturizers in them so if you are using a lightning face cream give it a break if you use lightning face cream for two days don't use it the third day the third day use another cream you can use goji berry you can use nivea you can use there are so many creams that are not lightning creams they are just moisturizers use moisturizing face cream for two days then the following day you use your lightning cream again that way your skin is going to be able to breathe and recover from all the chemicals you are bombarding on it okay so that is just what you need to do and let's say on your body you are using a lightning body cream let's say you are using um let's say you are using a lightning body cream a body cream that is lightning okay you use the body cream for four days let's say you use the body cream for like three days after that three days stop it after that three days don't use the cream again use something else this is pierce um pierce baby moisturizing cream this is like a baby cream this is what my niece is using okay i had to borrow this for my niece to show you guys an example okay let's say you're using a um a lightning cream you're using a lightning cream for three days after the third day stop it use something plain this is a moisturizer oh my god this cream is moisturizing like this baby cream is so moisturizing it is perfect on the baby skin that's why it is a baby cream okay get something like this use it if you don't use it if you don't use your lightning cream for one day you will not be black you will not be dark use it take it and what you can see how moisturizing it is it is so moisturizing very very moisturizing okay so if you are if you always use your lightning creams from for four months straight 
at a point you see that it's not working for you because most of those lightning things like i have said they contain a lot of drying chemicals they contain a lot of drying ingredients okay so give your skin breaks in between and i tell people whenever you're using lightning creams do not use it for more than three months or four months i used to tell people that because it will get to a stage where it will stop working for you so get something moisturizing as you are buying a lightning cream just buy something that is moisturizing you can get something like this if you are using your lightning cream like three times in a week the third day or the fourth day use something plain something moisturizing not just plain something moisturizing use a moisturizer the fourth and the fifth day then you can follow up again that way you are giving your skin breaks you are giving your skin breaks like guys that is why a lot of you come to my dm oh my god and now this cream i'm using is not working anastasia this anastasia this, i'm just like okay i have to make a video about this because most of you do not know and i do not blame you guys at all we learn every day so give your skin breaks give your skin breaks if you're using it today don't use it today use it another day that way and one thing i have to tell you guys is that once your hyperpigmentation is gone stop using whatever you're using because the honest truth is that if you keep on using lightning things it will get to a point where they will stop working for you and you will revert back to how you used to be it is always going to be temporary let me just be honest with you guys love your skin if you are dark skin appreciate your dark skin get products that suit your dark skin that will help your dark skin if you are light skin appreciate wherever you are like my color you all know that i am just a brown girl i am just a brown chocolate girl i am not white i am just like i'm chocolate and i am okay with my color i am not going to ever want to ever want to move to the next shade mm -mm. this is how god made me to be what i'm just trying to do is to help this my presence to keep on being like this some days you'll be darker maybe like summertime will be darker and that's okay we all get dark like sometimes you can get darker than usual it's fine try and get something that will work for you give you back um go back to your original um color and then maintain that color if you get dark again keep trying keep trying keep trying keep trying i hope this video was helpful if this video was helpful guys please give this video a thumbs up please guys give this video a huge thumbs up do not watch this video to this point and you won't give this video a thumbs up please give the video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to your girl's youtube channel okay i'll see you in my next video until then bye